Oh man, we got a broken egg on the floor, Amelia. What, whoa? Are you having fun playing in that box, though? Oh, uh, uh, whoa, whoa. What, whoa? A yucky egg. A yucky egg. You gonna get back in that banana box? You've been having fun in there. Oh, silly egg. I was gonna show you guys how I do this slow cooker meatloaf. What I have is I have 5.85 pounds of ground beef, so you might as well say six pounds. And I use old fashioned oatmeal, eggs, and then I stuff in whatever additional veggies I have. I chop them all up and they go into the meatloaf. So this meatloaf can change depending on the type of vegetables that I have on hand. I just try to jam everything in there. So here's a look at what I have. Here's my meat and the weight. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it is six pounds because we're so close. So I have six eggs. What I do is I use one egg per pound of meat and I use one cup of old fashioned oats per pound of meat. So that means we're gonna have six cups of old fashioned oats, we're gonna have six eggs. Again, jam in all the veggies and I'm also gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of milled flax because hey, I have it. It's a good way to get that into everybody. Right, Daniel? What you doing back there? Daniel, you looking at Zion? Hi, buddy, hi. And then I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker for about four hours on high and we'll have it for dinner. And if you guys want the full step-by-step -step recipe and also the printable version of the recipe, there's gonna be a link in the description below. It's gonna take you over to actually my JMRL Stewart site, which now is gonna, oh, 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 Daniel. Daniel says, mama, I wanna go walking. So the jmrlstewart.com site complements this YouTube channel and it'll have extra resources for each video over there. Don't you want to make a meatloaf? Don't you want to make a meatloaf? Say, no, I want to grab your hair. I want to pull your hair. That's what I want, Mommy. I want, oh, yes, you're doing so well at that. So Mr. Dan, the man here, might go down for his nap while Mommy does this video. veggies and now I'm gonna also do the old-fashioned oatmeal okay there's four cups and then we're gonna do two more because it's just a hair shy of six pounds of ground beef and and for extra fun I'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of milled flax, which no one will know, but it's good for everyone. And now the fun part, the messy part, is ring off, mixing it all together. I thought my bowl was big enough, we'll see. my meatloaf here. I've got probably close to three pounds of meat here and the meat that's left I'm going to shape that, put that in a freezer bag and that'll be a veggie meatloaf for another busy day. This is my veggie meatloaf for tonight. We will also do brown rice and broccoli with it. Now of course it's going to lose its shape when I put it in and that's okay. I can mess with it once I get it in there. And yes, the veggies pop out. I just squeeze them in there. Can you get, I don't know how far it's getting. It's getting all. Okay. So right now, of course, it looks like a science project gone wrong. 
And I didn't really use a lot of spices with this one. Usually I'll put in salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley. Honestly, I just didn't have that handy down here when I was making this. And you know how it is as a busy mom. I'm like, okay, I will just sprinkle a little salt and pepper on it tonight when I serve it. And that's as far as it's gonna get. It's gonna have a lot of good flavor on its own. So, and I think this is the science behind my cooking, ladies. I think I'm actually gonna put just a little bit more meat on there. There, that's probably three pounds or maybe a little more. This is an eight quart slow cooker. And again, links to everything I use is gonna be down below. Okay, so. I already have my slow cooker on high. I'm gonna put the lid on there. Voila, dinner is done almost. I'm gonna do the rice this afternoon, do the broccoli before we eat, and then we'll have another meatloaf for another day for the freezer. So here, so here is how the meatloaf turned out. And if you guys click in the description below, there's gonna be a link going over to my site with a printable version of this recipe. We'll see you tomorrow with another brand new video. Say good night, boys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night, girls. Good night, girls, Amelia.